सो हे गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल फॉर डिटेल्स सो गाइज टूडे आई टीच यू हाउ टू क्रिएट न्यू स्टाइल ऑफ हेलीकॉप्टर बैनर एडवर्टाइजिंग एनिमेशन विद यूजिंग आफ्टर इफेक्ट एंड ब्लैंडर सी गाइज दैट्स माई रियली कूल एनिमेशन एंड गाइज टॉप सो गाइज क्लिक ऑन हेयर दैट्स माई टेक्सचर प्रिव्यू एंड प्ले या इट्स लुकिंग रियली गुड सी गाइज दैट्स माई एनिमेशन राइट एंड गाइज गो टू अर बैक एंड क्लिक ऑन हेयर दैट्स माई फाइनल बैंडर प्रिव्यू येस right it's looking really realistic right okay so guys now i teach you how i create this type of effect so guys go to on file and i create new new project check and guys select all and press delete key and second one guys go to on after effect guys i'm using after effect for tracking so guys click on here and import your clip yeah and preview see guys that's my drone footage guys it's free and guys you can download this footage link in description so stop go to first frame and go to on track and track camera check okay so guys my tracking is finished and see guys that's my tracker points so next one guys you can select any points like this and right click guys see that's my sand ground plane and origin check and one more time right click create solid at camera check yes so one more time guys play Yeah, that's my simple flow, right? And guys, now stop. So guys, go to on here, track solid, and guys, top four position, copy. So guys, go to on here, and blender. Guys, see that's my A to blend add-on. So create plane check. That's my plane, and guys, now I apply camera, and guys, see that's my position and orientation, copy. So guys, go to on one more time and create camera check. Yes. Okay. So guys, now start from one second. So shift only one frame like this. Yes. And guys, now see guys, that's my end frame. So end frame, guys, go to on here last. Here select and go to on here like a three forty is good. Three forty. That's my last frame. Okay. So guys, lastly, one more time, go to on after effect. and double click on this camera and guys focal length copy copy and go to on one more time last time after blender and guys focal length paste yes that's it guys so guys press zero okay see guys that's a plane and now guys import your same footage so background image check and movie clip and guys import same clip like this this one and import yeah and guys opacity i take 100% check yes okay so guys play yeah that's my tracking right and guys go to back so guys change some setting on here render setting i use cycle and divide gpu check and guys render sam 256 is good for me and go to on fill here and transparent check and go to on color management and use standard yes Okay so guys now next one go to on here guys i use same frame rate this one that's my frame rate so guys go to on here that's my 29.97 fps so use 29.97 same and guys now go to on here that's my environment texture so go to on color and i apply texture so guys i have lots of hdr image so i like this one So guys, use this one. That's my city sky, and check. Yeah. Okay. So guys, my composition is finished, and now guys, this time I increase scale size. This one scale size increase like this, right? So guys, next one I import helicopter three D model. Guys, I already download from Sketchfab. So file and append. So guys, I have helicopter file. Select this one. and append and go to on collection select and append check yes so i increase size so guys scale size increase and guys up like this see guys that's my 3d model guys download from sketchfab i give you link in description so guys go to on back and play yeah that's my simple wheel rotation animation right it's simple Okay so guys I show you my texture and see guys that's my really simple effect right and now guys click on here 
ओके सो गाइस प्रेस जीरो ओके सो गाइस आई विल चेंज रोटेशन एंड गाइस नेक्स्ट वन आई टेक गाइस बैनर इफेक्ट सो बैनर सो यूज प्लेन दिस वन एंड गाइस इंक्रीज प्लेन साइज प्लेन साइज इंक्रीज सो गो टू ऑन हेयर एंड रोटेट सो गाइस एक्स रोटेशन चेंज लेकर नाइंटी एंड गाइस प्रेस वन अप go to on here and little bit more yes and guys increase scale size x1 like this see guys that's my simple banner right and go to on here yeah great okay so guys now next one i create hook so guys for hook i use cylinder this one and guys go to on here and use cap fill i use nothing so guys closer Yeah, see guys, that's my cylinder, right? And guys, see that's my vertex. I like three, and radius change. Guys, radius I will change, and that zero point one. Enter. Yes. See guys, that's my hook, right? And guys, I increase scale size, scale size like this. Press one, and go to an up, and guys, rotate your hook like this. Same ninety and rotate y axis, yeah. And guys, go to on here. Guys, this time I apply thickness. So use solidifier and go to on here and use solidifier check. And guys, I like thickness zero point one, yeah. And guys, press one. So guys, rotate your model. Rotate like this. Yes. And like a minus ninety, check and increase scale size, like this. Yeah, great. See guys, that's my hook. And guys, little bit change depth. So depth little bit change. Yes, good. Okay, so guys, all is good. And now, guys, little bit change position is good. Yes, great. Right. See guys, that's my hook. And now, guys, simple. I create like a flag effect. On this one plane, so guys go to on edit mode, and guys click on here segments and right click. Guys use this time loop cuts like check and cut, enter and number of cut. I like two is good for two. And guys now press A. That's my all selection and right click. Guys use subdivided check and number of cut. I like fifty is good. Yes, see guys that's my segments. And next one, guys, go to on here, edit mode. So press one, guys. Little bit change position like this. Yes. Okay. So guys, now I create vertex effect. So guys, select vertex and guys select this one vertex, this point, and guys click on here. Yeah. See guys, I select this one first line vertex and click on here and vertex group check. And use assign check yes and guys rename like a pin. Enter. So guys now I apply cloth effect. So guys select your plane and click on here and close simulation check. And guys go to back first frame. Guys I change dumping. I like four, four and four. And go to on here shape. And guys see that my pin group check. And go to on collision. And guys, self collision check and play. Yeah, see guys, that's my simple banner, right? Cloth effect. Okay, so guys, all is good. And now, guys, stop. And guys, also I apply wind effect. So guys, go to on here. So, so guys, select this one, and I apply wind. So guys, go to on here, wind check, and guys, I increase wind scale size. And apply on here, and guys, now rotate your wind like this. So guys, same ninety, and increase wind strength. So strength like a twenty, and noise amount I like five is good. Yes, and guys, select your cylinder. So go to on here, this one. That's my helicopter layer, and guys, select this one plane. Same drag and drop. Yes. Okay, so guys, see that's my effect, and guys, next one, I apply this time turbulence. So use turbulence, 
and increase scale size trouble scale size increase and apply on here like this and guys strength are like 10 is good okay so guys now so guys see that's my all layer so right click select hierarchy and object check yes okay so guys also i create position animation so guys select this one cylinder and guys go to on here null object and guys select this plane drag and drop on null object select both and drag and drop on here yes see guys that smash one single null object layer and guys i create animation like this right it's looking simple right and guys go to on here okay so guys now i create animation and guys go to on first frame so guys select your empty object and rotate check so guys rotation like this and guys go to back so guys go to on here global to local so go to on here and guys little bit up little bit yes actually press i and location check and guys now go to on last 340 and guys position change like this yeah okay so guys now little bit change position also so guys go to on back and go to on here like this yeah right that's my simple helicopter and little bit down okay so guys all is good and press i and location check and guys go to on last so guys last and guys position go to on here yes and press i and check yes okay so guys now go to back and next one guys select all keyframe and press t and liner check okay so guys one more time play yeah really good see guys that's my really cool effect right that's my vfx style of animation and guys next one i apply same cloth effect so guys go to on here and guys go to on plane and double click on this plane like a cloth and guys select your cloth so i apply cloth submission check and guys surf attention like a three three and three and guys go to on here pin group check and guys self collision check yes that's it guys and guys also quality i like five and play okay so guys now stop go to back and go to on catchy and guys see that's my catch simulation 340 and bake all dynamic check yes see guys that's my baking guys take a little bit time like a one and two minutes okay so guys my baking is finished now play yeah see guys that's my really cool banner close simulation and guys shade smoother check and one more time play yes right see guys that's my really cool cgi effect cgi banner animation and guys really simple so guys next one i show you my one frame render and apply a simple sunlight and guys go to back and guys i use light and use sunlight go to an up and guys little bit up and little bit rotate yeah good and guys select your sunlight and strength is good angle i like take a 20 is good and go to on here guys i show you my one frame render so go to on here render and render image check yeah see guys that's my really simple one frame render and guys close now go to on compositing and use node check so guys now i apply this time movie clip here movie clip check and use same footage same clip so guys see that's my same movie clip and guys press shift a use alpha over so alpha over connect to this one and lastly guys use viewer and viewer check and connect to this one yeah and press v yeah that's my composition and go to layout so guys now next one select your this one flow and use catch a actually shadow catcher check yes and guys also i apply this time texture on banner so guys select your this one and go to on shading and guys press zero okay so guys go to on here 
that's my texture and create new check and guys you can apply any texture guys i already create texture so select and import like this yeah and guys see that's my metallic 0.3 good okay so guys all is good press 0 and guys go to back and play yeah great right see guys that's my floating effect right and guys one more time render and render image check yes see guys that's my really cool helicopter banner cgi animation guys my work is really good right that's my composition and guys close so go to on here and output so guys i create jpeg sequences render enter and take any file name except check go to on back okay so guys all is good and lastly one more time yeah great render and render animation check okay so guys that's it my final work is finished so guys if you like my video please share and please subscribe my youtube channel thank you